So it's uh, Sunday the 4th of October 2020. I'm here in the Netherlands again. Um, I was due to do the Clarendon Half Marathon um, from Salisbury to Winchester today, but can't get back because of quarantine reasons. Um, what I'm, instead I'm doing is I'm gonna, I've never been here before, but we're in the middle of the Netherlands in the Holker Veluva National Park. Um, I've got my route mapped out, so I'm just going to explore, <laughs> try and do half marathon and try and keep on track. Um, it's soft sand as you can see, and when it goes to trail a little bit later, I think it'll just be narrow soft sand. Um, Debbie's here, um, but can't track me because she can't cycle on the soft sand. This bit's all right, but the rest of it, I've, I've already done a recce, and you just can't cycle on it at all. Um, so we'll see how it goes. And um, yeah, I'm running again for cystic fibrosis in memory of Nick, my cousin. And um, yeah, this would have been my fourth time doing the, the uh, Clarendon event. I did the marathon last year, I've got my shirt on. I've done the uh, half marathon twice before, so this would have been my fourth event. So it's a bit of a shame, but hopefully next year I'll make it back. And um, it's a bit of a shame as well, because I was due to run with Kenny, Kenny Input, who hadn't done it before and this will be his first trail half so good luck Kenny they'll be starting off shortly I'm trying to coordinate when I start at the same time and then also Andy Miles and his son Owen so it'll be Owen's first Andy's a you've seen me run with him before he's a very uh, experienced ultra runner so he'll be doing that half with Owen um, and uh, yeah best of luck to everybody there so they'll all be social distancing or um, starting at different times um, and just relying on the, the chip timing rather than doing these mass starts, which obviously is not very safe at the moment. So good luck to everybody on that. So my initial plan didn't work, I did wonder. Uh, I was trying to run straight into the National Park and that didn't work. On one of the trails they obviously put all these fencing in, I don't know if you can see that. So I've got to trace the the border fence up to the main entrance. Uh, fortunately I paid for admission earlier so hopefully I won't have to hold myself up there at the entrance so I can just run straight in, wave my ticket as I go through. Uh, doesn't actually change my route very much, I'm kind of on the parallel path as it is because uh, I was due to come up almost to the entrance the car entrance anyway on the track on the trail on the other opposite side of this fence so as long as i don't make any navigation worries i should be all right and uh be heading into the park in about a kilometer i think but you can see i mean this is parkland session essentially anyway uh this is actually quite a nice path back there it was all loose sand like running on the dunes again so it's not going to be an easy run uh, today I won't be doing the hills there are hills here little ones so I won't be doing the 350 400 meters of climbing that I would have done on the Clarendon but I think I'm there's a little bit of make it up for it by the fact I'm running in soft sand a lot of the time. So we'll see. So here I am in the National Park. It's actually straightforward, there's just a guy standing on the gate. And so I was able to show him a ticket, get through without stopping. So I've kept my clock running. That's what I mean, a virtual race. Uh, but I've got onto what, this is what they call a goat trail. <laughs> and I think I'm on the right one. There was another one there. I think that was originally the trail I would have come up on if I'd been able to get into the National Park straight away. So having to navigate my way on this trail, which is varied, I think, terrain. So makes it interesting. That's the main thing from my point of view. Anyway, I'll check in a bit later on. So I'm only two and a half K in now. So another 19 to go. You can see here there are bits that are just like running in sand dunes. So I'm, I 
think I'm, I'm definitely back on track so I'm pleased I've made a couple of waypoints that I was expecting which is always good when you've drawn out a map and not don't actually know the area uh, so I'm just about to cross the the one road in that cars use so I know I'm definitely on the right track at three and a half K and that heads up to the two museums one of which contains the second largest Van Gogh uh, paintings uh, museum apparently or exhibition so we might try and go there tomorrow or Tuesday hit 5k I've just spotted my next turn fortunately they're well marked even if the trails so you can see I'm following this sheep trail not the horse trail see what it looks like <laughs> um, it's, it's pretty hard going but I did expect it trying to look at satellite maps through this area so I'll keep it going it's almost back to the cycle trail if Dip will be here so this is uh, statue in the middle of the park I assume it's probably Muller or one of the founders of the park which apparently was in it was a, a rich couple who bought up the, the land area that now makes up the park to preserve it uh, and then it later got adopted by the state I think once they, they passed away so uh, it's quite a nice legacy, a bit of, a bit of open land, here you can see the cycle path, incredibly nice cycle paths in here, they're tarmac, so you can see the white city bikes that they're riding, so if you pay admission to the park at the entrance you can either dump your car there at the entrance and pay slightly just a normal uh, it's almost 11 euros or you pay a bit more and take you bring your car in but the other option is leave your car there just pay the basic 11 euros and then the moment you walk through the gates there's this absolute sea of bicycles those bicycles and they're basically free uh, within the park they've all got baby seats on the back so if you've got a kid with you little baby little kid you can pop them straight in there you obviously bring your own bike in as well which I did earlier today to do a recce but uh, well that's a really nice idea and it gives you the option as a if you've arrived <coughs> by car with your family just to leave the car at the gate and we'll jump on those, those bikes I've just reached the ponds just after the halfway mark almost on 12k you can see one of the one of the buildings there that's in the northern part of the park I'm not sure whether that was the residence that was built here originally opposed to further south is the two museums that's very nice I think it's a conference centre or hotel uh, now uh, so I'm on a little boardwalk now through marshy area I hope I'm on the right track of there's a few, lot of trails coming together after the ponds and uh, so I've just basically headed as south as I can go and uh, hope that I'm on the right track. We'll see. Keep on this boardwalk. Well, I'm almost uh, 16k in, just coming up to 16k. I've just seen my first red deer. He just went straight across this track. Absolutely like a streak of red. Like a kind of rusty red colour. Huge as well. So I have seen red deer before, but not that close. I've seen the big grey deer in the New Forest. But he was a big boy uh, so glad I wasn't in his path as he came through because he is absolutely huge so I'm at 17 kilometers and now I'm faced with that so I'm gonna head up this way I'm pretty sure I'm on the same route well minus the chalk this is almost like coming through spa shop ham green and then uh, on the Dean uh, trail uh, it's certainly a big old u-shaped avenue Actually more probably like coming down to uh, Ashley 
there's bits like this isn't there on the Clarendon anyway I'm about 17 and a half almost 18 another three to finish uh, the sun's coming out so I think I'm roughly I'm not sure I'm convinced I'm on exactly the right track but I'm, I'm heading in the right compass direction as I said I've got my compass my trusty thumb orienteering compass with me so uh, I can see a sand gravel cycle trail down below me here so I'm pretty sure uh, that's leading me out of the park so another climb some steps 18 and a half K so just two and a half to go now to finish the half uh, so it's been pretty heavy going actually although the sun's come out which is nice so uh, getting there you can see the drop-offs in here so there's quite a bit more height than you get in other parts of the Netherlands here all right just coming up to the finish line I think this will mark it actually this path that's 21.1 kilometers so I've just finished in at King's School virtually uh, so congratulations everybody today for your runs the marathon runners the half marathons and uh, what else I think the relays were being run as well uh, and hope you did well I'll check in with Kenny Andy and Owen a bit later I'm gonna have a bit of refreshment now and then keep going into Waterloo so I've got a bit more to go there now you can see this sea of bikes this is what I mentioned earlier if you've come by car or any other way haven't got your own bikes what you do is you pay your membership and you just park on the outside pay your entrance fee walk through and just pick up a bike so here I am back at the the entrance I've got another I think about 2k maybe three no I think it's two uh, to get back to Waterloo so I'm just going to keep going some on getting on for 22 kilometers now so it's going to be another longer run that was all good that's what I set out to do so there's the entrance to the park there's the ticket office and you do need a ticket by the way if I didn't mention already if you are running or walking still need to get a ticket so that's 10.95 10 euros 95 uh, so I came over and did a recce this morning and bought it I think I've said that already uh, probably didn't do me any favours it was handy doing a recce because they get me they gave go, help me orientate myself to the entrance and where the museums were if I got lost on the run but it did mean I did 15 16 K on the bike this morning so there's a sign to Waterloo uh, when we arrived yesterday Saturday we went straight to the spa there's a very well equipped spa there but it's Sunday so it's closed <laughs> yes closed uh, as are a number of other places so we had to stock up yesterday uh, I hope there's enough milk when I get back it's always like a high protein uh, drink when I get back so here I am just crossing Carlsvig where our house is so uh, that was uh, yeah 23 kilometers it's just gone over to so just short of 15 miles uh, it's a bit longer than a half so here you can see that's our neighbors in there uh, we'll see out and then you can see ours on the left hand side there so I'll show you around a little bit later on haven't got very good internet now so so there's Deb about to greet me at the door